And I want to go now, as promised, to Christine Cornell. She was in the courtroom today, the official sketch artist today. In addition to this Trump trial, Christine has sketched many high-profile criminal trials. So she's used to seeing these moments. El Chapo, the Mexican drug lord, mobster, John Gotti, Bill Cosby, Jeffrey Epstein, Bernie Madoff. Wow. You have seen it all. And you were there today. And I know this was a momentous day to you, a part of history. And in fact, I mention all those individuals that you've drawn, but you've drawn Trump for decades, back to an antitrust suit decades ago. So you've seen this man change and morph and age in so many different ways. What did you think today? Um, he's, he's gotten a bit older. No, I've been drawing him now for months, right? But I did draw him when he was a young man. Um, he's always kind of startling because of his height. He really is a big guy. And also the kind of impassive mask that he wears. Um, you know, he's really, he's very designed. Very you know? designed, very purposeful. Yes, his, his, those, those eyebrows, you know, which are, you know, they, they, they wear him, you know? <laughs> and you do d draw them with such distinction. You know, you, you, they really stand out in how you draw him. Um, I want to show one of your sketches today. We're going through some of them, but this one, it appears in this one that his eyes are closed. What was happening here? My apologies, ma'am. I was sitting 50 feet away. I was having such a struggle to try and get those eyeballs in in a decent yeah. way. Um, it was just not the best advantage. You vantage know, point to see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, later in the day, he was more cooperative, and he turned a couple of times. And knowing that there was someone there, in a sense, right? That he could no, turn to your vantage point and he, see you. No, he wasn't doing anything for me. He was right. just talking to his attorney. He was sitting right there on his on his right. All right. And so, I had my binoculars on, so any look that he gives at all is going... You could tell. I'm going to grab it, yeah. All right, so um, could you tell what was happening in that moment, or or no, that's just what just stood out to you? It to was just when it. he was talking to his lawyers about, you know, various jurors and what mm -hmm. he thought of them. Um, you know, this was, this was... What was unique about this jury was that the first day they called, I think, 96 people, mm -hmm. and I think 50 people raised their hand when the judge said, raise your hand if you can't be fair. And then today there was a whole little train of them, like, trailing and saying, oh, judge, I slept on it. I can't be fair. Oh, that's what you saw today. Yeah, even more were dropping like flies. So this is, this is a, a unique situation. Usually people have all these other excuses, my vacation, my child, my <coughs> job, this, that. Not in this case. But interesting what you say coming in, I slept on it. Um, how did they react, the jurors that you saw, when they, the ones, and I was just going through some of the basics that we know about them, biographical, but when you saw their faces when they realized they had been chosen? Well, they had to walk right past me, which was really quite fascinating. So I got a, the whole, you know, down the runway look. And, you know, there was the, the first guy, number one, and he was all... He was almost militaristic. This was, is the four person, the man yeah, from Ireland. Okay. He had a real military kind of presence about him. Everybody felt like they looked as if they'd been hit by a ton of bricks when they heard the news this that is, they were actually chosen. Uh, one woman went scurrying by and she was smiling. So she seemed happy. She was happy. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. All right, so let's show another one of your sketches. Oh, and yeah, that yeah. older man, the one who said that he found Trump interesting? Yes. He was older? Yeah. yeah, he was an older guy. I couldn't get over him, listening to him say, okay, you've got to stop using that word interesting because it really means something else. But anyway, he got selected, and I thought, well, we actually have a jury of his peers. This is, this is a guy who's probably close to Trump's age. And yeah. it was close to Trump's age. So you did see, you saw diversity in age. Mostly, and it sounds mostly like young ones, mostly young. Mostly young. All right, so what was, from what you could tell, Trump's reaction as, as these, I mean, I, I talked about a moment where, you know, he was muttering. My understanding is that particular juror didn't end up, for whatever reason, whether it was struck or not, on the jury. That, but what was Trump's reaction, could you tell, to anyone who was chosen? No, I really could not. You couldn't? Because no, I'm 50 feet away sitting smack right. dab behind his head. So were there other moments that stood out to you when he did turn and you're looking through your binoculars, which I, I think... I loved it. I loved it when the judge, you know, reprimanded him for muttering because that was the woman who had videotaped celebrations when he hadn't won the election. Right, Biden, Biden celebrations in New York City. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. And, uh, and, and he was beside himself with that piece of information. And the judge scolded him, which I thought was great. Oh, and, and it was clear he was, he was angry about yeah, it. Yeah, and he tilted his head back. And, yeah, I mean, he had to agree. He tilted his head back and shut his eyes. 
when the judge said that. Oh, really? He mm-hmm. t- okay. And, and from his interactions with his lawyers, could you tell anything else about, I don't know, his demeanor or his feeling or his emotion in those interactions? Now you're making me wish I was in the overflow room. Because <laughs> right. they, you know, they, they have, have a, they, a they camera, camera zoomed in on his face. Straight yes. on him, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it's different. In this case, you're, you are, because you're in the room, you have the vibe. You have the kind of electricity. I was the actual excited presence. to get the feeling for the people, you know, because they really do come from all walks of life. And it's kind of shocking to see them coming in, you know, and you think, I wonder what pr- Trump would think of this one or of that one yeah. or of this one. You know, none of them, I don't think, are kind of like the, his standard of caliber of what he really admires in human beings, which is extremely shallow quality. So, so, so let me ask you one more thing. <laughs> because I said you have done, you've sketched him over many years, right? El Chapo, John Gotti, Bill Cosby, Jeffrey Epstein, Bernie Madoff. You have been in the room with the most notorious defendants, some of the most notorious in New York history. Mm-hmm. How did this moment compare? You know, there's a bottom line thing. It's just another human being. He's just a guy in a pinch, you know? And you're there to capture the humanity. Absolutely. And you want to see it be a fair trial. Absolutely. All right. Well, Christine, thank you very much. It's really fascinating. And thank you for for sharing that. As I say, you become the eyes for all of us of history when you are in that courtroom drawing. So thank you. My pleasure. And I want to get to all of our experts here with me in just a moment uh, to talk more about all of these details that Christine just shared. I want to begin with Robert Hirshhorn, jury consultant, four decades of experience. Welcome back, Robert. I know you've got the William Kennedy Smith rape trial, George Zimmerman trial uh, in in your history of what you've been a part of. What do you make of what Christine is describing about um, some of these additional details she shared about these jurors and their reactions, uh, you know, that, 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 that the four person she described as almost militant uh, in, in when he walked by, uh, the man originally from Ireland. Uh, she described an older gentleman, a, a Trump peer in terms of age, and a, a woman who was smiling and seemed very happy to be on the jury. What do you take away from what you just heard? Yeah, Aaron, it's a, it's a mixed group. This is exactly what you want. It's, uh, you've got people from different walks of life. You can see that I'm wearing my fishing tie today. And the reason I'm wearing it is because uh, the former president caught himself some pretty good jurors today. We've got seven. You've got two of them that are lawyers. Uh, the, the end, the, what the sketcher was telling us is that these jurors are reacting naturally. It's not just that it's a criminal case. It's not just that it's a high profile case. It's a criminal case that's high profile involving the most popular person popular, the most well-known person in the world by the name of Donald J. Trump. And so some jurors are going to be happy about it. Some are going to be frightened about it. Some are going to just do their job because the the key thing that the sketch artist said, Aaron, when you strip it all away, Donald J. J. Trump is just another person that's on trial. And I'm telling you, this jury is going to give the man a fair trial. Yeah, I mean, and it is fascinating what she said, right? It is the humanity. And when you think about all the people she's been in the room, it strips you down to that, that you are a human, as as I think Christine, you know, put it, in a pinch. Um, She also was talking about the juror that I mentioned, juror number four, Puerto Rican man with an IT business who tells the court Trump, quote, makes things interesting. The way Christine described it was that... um, that he, he sort of said that word a few times and it appeared clear that that word may mean something. It was unclear. What do you take away from that and the fact that that individual has been chosen to be on the jury? To me, Aaron? Aaron, are you asking me? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Interesting is the perfect word that Team Trump wants to hear. It can be interpreted all sorts of different ways. I don't think it's a dog whistle for anything. Look, I like the guy. He's just being real and honest, and that's what you want from the jurors. He's expressing on the outside what he's thinking on the inside, and that's all we can ask of the people that we are that we summons and send down to courtrooms all across America to serve as jurors. So kudos for him for being for being so straight and honest. All right.